Hakon. Hey, you're a better climber than one crazy girl I used to know. <laughs> she was something. She even wanted to climb the tallest building in the city. The VNC Tower. <laughs> was she one of your wives? Almost. Too hot-tempered. Even for my tastes. And what about this passage to the center? Right. Look, from this roof you can clearly see the Peacekeeper's base. So the PK run the city? They sure think they do. That's what they need the uniforms and ranks for. They tattoo them. They're fucking obsessed with hierarchy. <laughs> but they don't control the city. At least not all of it. Who controls the rest? The Colonel. The Renegades. Oh, you won't meet them here. For now. Wait, you brought me here to take a look at the Peacekeepers? The PK are your ticket to the center. I told you the only way to get there is through the metro tunnels. I'll go inside and draw their attention away from the platform. Then you enter the Metro Technical Station. There's an airlock there. We'll take it together to the central loop. We can't just ask them to let me through? No chance. Right now, each new face they see belongs to a suspect in their commander's murder. They know me. I trade with them sometimes. I deliver lamps from the girls, or goods from dark zones. There might be a few infected there. Nothing a pilgrim can handle, though. When you get to the main station, let me know. Now you better get some sleep. You'll head out at night, when there's less infected in the tunnels.
I'm in the tunnel. Okay. Now watch out for the infected. There might be a few, or a few dozen. I'm already in the BK base. I'll throw a UV flare through the vent, and you'll see how to get to the main station.
hack on. I got to the flare. Look around. The technical tunnel to the main station should be well lit. I've already lured the guards upstairs. I'll chat them up when you get inside. Ugh. Oh shit! I'll be there in a second. Where did he come from? He was wandering through the tunnels. Fucking bizarre riffraff. More like a renegade spy. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't look like a renegade. <clears throat> He's awake. What were you doing at our base? I'm only trying to get to the city center. The center? <laughs> the tunnel's gonna be closed until you hand over Lucas's killers. Bizarre scum. How is it that you lot saw nothing, heard nothing, and you managed to forget about the ban on passage? Maybe we'll start punishing you by cutting off your hands. That would improve your memory, huh? What were you doing four days ago? I'm a pilgrim. Four days ago, I was a hundred kilometers away. Enough, Anderson. We need the truth, and you won't get it through coercion. But Commander Lucas, Lucas always said... Lucas is said... dead, and now I'm in command. You've read the reports? A pilgrim appeared in the bazaar yesterday. It looks like he's not lying. Leave us, Sergeant. 
I want to talk to him alone. <clears throat> Where did you come from? From Crossdale River. That's over 1,500 kilometers from here. It's actually more than 2,000. The freeway bridge has collapsed. There are no straight paths. And you've managed to make it so far away. Impressive. What's it like out there these days? When was the last time you were out of the city? About 15 years ago. And then there are that many fewer survivors. And that many more infected. Stands to reason. Most people endure living in this hellhole because what's out there has got to be so much worse. My wife and I lived in England. I had two sisters, two brothers. Haven't heard from them for 10 years. And where did they live? In and around London. From what I've been told, London doesn't exist. There may be four settlements left on the entire island. Fucking hell. What's it like outside the walls? You never know where danger's gonna come from. Always new territories, new threats. And you came here to take shelter? I came here because I'm looking for someone. And a lot of people are said to have survived in Villador. You're looking for someone? Hmm, well, maybe I can help you. But not for free. I'm used to trading. What do you need? No nonsense. That's good. The tunnel will be closed until I find our commander's murderer. Commander Lucas. His body was found in the bazaar. Horribly mutilated. The people of the bazaar aren't making this easy. They're proud and loyal. They refuse to turn anyone in. But command has lost its patience. I have orders from the top, Pilgrim. If the inhabitants of Old Vilador continue to revolt, our army will come here and burn the bazaar to the ground. Now, I'd rather avoid that. What do you need from me? Lucas had a weapon. A rare set of brass knuckles called the Lazarus. This is the key to finding the killer. If you learn anything about the Lazarus, tell me, and I will most certainly return the favor. It's worth a lot, and we didn't find it on his body. I think someone from the bazaar may have appropriated it. So if I find that weapon, you'll let me through to the center? It's not that easy. Vilador suffered much. First, it was isolated from the outside world because of infection. Then the walls became its salvation. But people here learned not to trust easily. I won't open the passage until I've caught the killer. But if you can find the Lazarus, I'll remember that. You'll be the first one through, once justice is done. Sounds as if I have no other choice. I'll try. Look around. Ask people. And don't come back empty-handed. Good luck. seen a uniform like yours before. I'm a carrier. A carrier? What's that? I belong to the Carrier's Guild. I'm one of many. If there are so many of you, why haven't I seen your uniform before? We're discreet. We're entrusted with valuable information and therefore keep a low profile. Now your profile isn't so low right now. Indeed. Our headquarters are located in the center, and the only passage right now goes through the subway tunnels. The peacekeepers control the passage and aren't letting anyone in or out of the center right now. Until they do, I'm stranded. That sucks, especially since I'm in need of some information. I can't help you. We have a strict code of confidentiality. Only our guildmaster would be authorized to share information. 
Well, then he's the one I should talk to. Any other ways I can get into the center? Not that I'm aware of. On the surface, the border of the center is a no-man's land. It was devastated in a chemical attack, cutting this district off from the center. The air and ground are poison. Only the most freakish of monsters can survive there. Damn. Well, I'll have to find a way. Somehow. Good luck. Hey, Hakon. Are you there? Hey then, buddy. Good you're alive. Yeah? I got caught and questioned. Good. They didn't kill you. Meet me outside. You must help us. Otherwise, there will be a rebellion. Help us in the investigation. We'll help you with the bandits. I told you already. Nobody in the bazaar had anything to do with Lucas's death. Then why won't you let us search your homes, huh? If everyone is so innocent, then there'd be nothing to hide. Keep your brutes away from our homes, Anderson. So you're hiding someone. Time is running out, Carl. You don't hand over the killer, we'll raise your precious bazaar to the ground. Sow the wind and reap the whirlwind, Anderson. Don't bite off more than you can chew, old man. Aiden, come on. I'm on the roof next to the metro. Over here. So, what did they want from you? If you'd been there like you said you'd be, I'm... Oh, oh, I did my best. I didn't know there was anyone else in the tunnel. Lucas's death is a big deal. They love this motherfucker like a father. Ator doesn't have Lucas's charisma. He's gonna have problems. Ator said he might let me through to the center, if I help him. What? What are you supposed to help him with? He wants me to find Lucas's weapon, the Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. And he believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. A fence? Part-time fence. Full-time scammer. An artless one, too. He's got half the city after him for debt right now. If anyone in Villador is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. And what's his name? Hubert Kerbatos. Also known as Half-Ass Hubie. Every day he sets up shop in the nearby windmill and waits for customers. Probably selling booze and weed to the PKs. If you want to find the Lazarus, talk with Hubie. I'll chase down some other leads. Okay, let's keep in touch.